Okay, John Major, Luke Garrett, after we exit the FA Cup after a defeat here to Eastley. Uh, Luke, I imagine it's quite raw at the moment, but can you just sum up that one today? I uh, want to apologise to the fans to start with. Um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect that to come. I'll take nothing away from Eastley. I felt them, to a man, they were by, by far better than us all over the park. Um, dominant in every single duel. We spoke about their deliveries and stopping it at source. And then they go and cross the ball four times, score four goals. Um, but my big concern is um, the manner in which we've lost the game. I felt that we had senior players on the pitch that... I get it, you're 4-1 you're down and there's, there's a frustration, but we still need to work into the 95th minute. So, <clears throat> huge frustration. Wanted a cup run, desperate for a cup run. Um, I know how important it is to a club like ours. I know how important it is to a community. I know how important it is to continue with a, a run with regards to us being unbeaten. And to go and do what we've done today is, yeah, they used the word embarrassing to the group because we've just exited the FA Cup and lost 5-1. Yeah, conceded five goals in an unchar unchar uncharacteristic fashion. What, what do you put that down to? Um, we've conceded four this year. We conceded three this year. I think that's uncharacteristic for the whole season. Um, but we've conceded goals. I felt that we don't stop it at source. I can go through the goals now, but it's just going to be repetitive pe to people watching. The fifth goal epitomises our game today. The way in which they're down to ten men, Quigley still wins the first contact. Maguire, for how good he was and how good he is, he shouldn't be going to score a goal like he did in that manner. Um, and it's huge frustration, massively huge frustration. Like I said, we were four unbeaten. Um, the last two weeks, I've, I've generally seen us have an upward curve. And today was poor, was really, really poor. Um, we lose Anjo Balanta on Thursday. We start Erico in there. I think for the first 10, 15 minutes, we were a team that looked like the team on the front foot. We had four corners in that spell. Then they go and get a goal against a run of play. And then from then onwards, it was all them. Um, yes, we had a reply quite quick with Robinson, but no, nah, I can't. I'm not that guy that would turn around and say it weren't because we performed. No, they bullied us. Um, I don't like using them words. I genuinely felt that all over the park, they were far superior to what we offered up today. Yeah, there was no Angelo today and, and also pain had to come off at half time. Can you just give us an update on both of those? Um, Andrew's got a calf issue um, and Payne, Payne's got an issue with his knee. Um, felt stiff during the half and then at half time obviously sitting there, stiffening up and he's getting Well, after the half, seven, eight minutes for them to go and score the goal from Franchelletti, you're then trying to do damage limitation. I'm saying to the group after 85 minutes, no sendings off. I don't want it to affect us in the league. And it's just so frustrating because, like I said, the cup competitions is, is so good. It's so good. And what we've enjoyed the last three years, does it, it don't tarnish it, don't get me wrong, but we've just exited 5-1. And I've got a group of fans there that stayed and awaited to, to give the players a, a clap. And I have to give them credit because I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay and punt to come in all this way to our journey to watch your side lose 5-1. I'd be saying some expletives. And listen, I said to the group, go and thank them, but no, we owe, we owe them an apology because that's not good enough. Not good enough, and I hold my hands up. Not good enough. It's not just the personnel in that grid. It's the personnel on the bench. I hold my hands up. From three o'clock onwards, it's not been good enough from all staff members and players. Yeah, we'll move on to Bromley next week then. How, how do you ensure that this game is, is almost just a blip and, and that you see a reaction from the players? We need to go and perform against Bromley. We need to go and pull out a performance like we did against Southend and Dagenham. And I speak, and I speak to you throughout the week, and I say it in the interview on Friday, I generally feel there's a sea change. And then we serve that up. That's not congruent to my wording. That's not congruent to the message I'm giving to the players. That's not where we're at as a group of men. That today is not good enough. I can't accept that from a, a, a team of mine to go and serve that up to them. I'm sorry. To lose 5-1 in any fixture is frustrating. To lose it in the FA Cup is criminal. Absolutely criminal. Because we know how illustrious the Cup is. We know what it's been in our recent history. And 
now we're out of the cup competition and they go on and that's, I'll be honest with you, it's frustrating as hell.